If you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. He can help you guys get Diamond Kyrie Irving, Diamond Brandon Roy, or just about any card you guys need in this game. So be sure to click that link in the description and hit him up now. Here we are in season number two of NBA 2K24, my team, where we obviously have a bunch of new cards that you guys are probably going to want. We obviously have the collection for Shea Gilgis Alexander. We also have the brand new set for Carmelo Anthony, the new set for Tim Duncan, and the new set for... Okay, it's just those two, and I guess... How do, how do you get... I guess Jordan's just in packs. Jordan is just in packs. All right. Sounds great. All right. But obviously, you guys are going to be wanting some of these cards. So let's talk about how to make some MT here in season number two. Now, by far, guys, the best mode I want to talk about is unlimited. Now, if you guys saw my other videos today, I don't know how or what order I'm going to be posting them in. I love unlimited right now as far as XP, as far as MT, as far as rewards. I love it, okay? Everything about this mode is going to be super solid. You have Anthony Davis in here. You have the cooking pack that is not auctionable. Now, Cam Whitmore is not auctionable, but that AD is not. So if you guys do win and you guys get him, you guys will be able to sell him for probably about 50 or 60K, whatever he is. Um, and that is a lot, right? But never mind that. Every single game that you guys play, I believe it's realistically whether you win or lose, you guys are going to be getting like four to 5,000 MT, which is insane that you guys are definitely going to want. So first of all, guys, like I said, focus on unlimited. This is one of the main modes I would look to go ahead and complete because you guys are also going to be getting rewards throughout this. You get 20K MT, um, again, just from getting up to the player. And then even when you guys go past that, you guys are going to see here, there's Hall of Fame badges, which whatever, another 20K, another 25K, a box, a 10-pack box of Super Packs, which they are non-auctionable, I believe. Yeah, perfect build option pack, non-auctionable. All right, they need to stop doing this where everything is non-auctionable. But anyway, <laughs> triple that online, guys, same deal. You guys obviously do have Derrick Rose. Clutch time online, you do have Cat, who is non-auctionable. Why would he not be? Am I right? Levine is auctionable. Brooke Lopez is auctionable. A lot of auctionable cards, though, guys, on a lot of these different modes. So now is definitely the time, especially in the beginning of the season, guys. Now is the time to go ahead and grind and get yourself some MT. Offline, Triple Threat is still a MT-making move, guys. Not only are you guys going to be getting a ton of MT from just playing the games, but going through this board here, a lot of tokens. Uh, there's 2,500, another 2,500, 3,000, a pack. Another 5,000. So, I mean, there's a lot of different rewards. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. Yo, there's Legendary Path. There's some, there's some pretty good rewards there. I'm not going to lie. There's some pretty good stuff there in Triple Threat um, that you guys could definitely be focusing on. Um, but overall, guys, like I said, right now, playing the different modes and everything is definitely the move to make a lot of MT in this game. Like I said, it's unfortunate because making MT, there is no auction house anymore to be able to go ahead and do it. So... I mean, this is the time, guys, like I said, to stack up your MT by grinding out this different stuff. I mean, obviously, you guys, you know, I want to just make it clear again. If you do the buy all feature, this is still way cheaper than not doing the buy all. So if you guys are going to do that and buy these collections, make sure you guys do again, select the buy all option. And some of these cards are pretty solid. I mean, for the most part, right? I mean, like, Marcus Gasol's got it. Oh, it's not, it's not even from today. Like, what, what am I saying, bro? What am I saying? Yeah, I could low-key just get Kawhi for, like, the cheap, bro. Wait, can I not? Why, why is there only four? Am I tripping, bro? I, I might be tripping. I don't even know. Look, either way, okay? Play unlimited play salary cap and also guys again you guys do have these single player challenges now i don't think you guys can sell them but these spotlights or whatever yeah so unfortunately they are not sellable shocker um but there are free packs across this board or across the board as well that you guys definitely want to be focusing on so make sure you guys are paying attention to that as well so you guys can see we actually have a good amount of uh, mt just kind of chilling from last season so i kind of figured why not let's have some fun and uh let's test our luck with some of these packs now i do not recommend this guys at all um and the reason why is because packs are never the move i told you guys i made videos about this opening packs is legitimately pointless um like legit it, it is pointless because you guys could literally buy the players yourself and you don't have to you know spend any mt or anything on stuff that is not guaranteed um so it is definitely not worth it but i'm gonna do it because i don't really uh care <laughs> i i'm more like yeah if we pull something we pull something so let's kind of have some fun 
pop open some lift off deluxe packs here maybe we clutch up maybe we don't so we're gonna get a sapphire yeah sapphire in the first pack lionel simmons okay i mean adding a new card i guess that's a w right um can we get a shake though hey eh? no shake okay we're gonna be getting another sapphire and this is kind of why guys like i always tell you to not open packs this is kind of why because these sapphires which is actually kind of crazy because I believe they don't even go for that much farther off than the actual um, than the actual pack does, which is kind of crazy. Um, I feel like I can exchange this, right? Yeah, I was gonna say I feel like I can exchange this for a liftoff pack. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna get it. Go ahead and get another free pack uh, here. Can it be anything good though? Can we get something good? Okay. I want, I want to, I want to show the people. Come on, 2K. You got to give me those juiced streamer eye. We get a ruby, and it is Joe Smith. I mean, okay, we take a ruby out of a quote-unquote free pack. Um, but yeah, come on, 2K. We're trying to show the people these juiced pack gods that everyone wants to go ahead and open. Come on, you got to give me one, man. You got to give me one for the. All right, bro. The kids are starving. Okay, the kids are legitimately starving. Like. What are we doing? Last pack, guys. 100K down the drain. But again, don't really affect me. I'll be honest. Can we clutch up? Can we get a shake for the kids? I'm going to close my eyes here after we pop this pack, man. I'm going to close them. You guys can see it. Maybe you guys are like, yo. And maybe you're just like, bro, flip the pack already. You don't get anything. Flipping them all. You guys can see. Do we get a shake, though? And. We actually pull our first hollow, though. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yo, we pull our first hollow card. Now, here's the deal, guys. I've never pulled a hollow card before. So I'll tell you what. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to try I'm gonna try this out because, again, I've never pulled a hollow yet this year. I can't, apparently can't go to the Sapphires. We're going to send him in there and imagine if we can clutch up and get a 10. Imagine we clutch up, get a 10, we get some crazy stuff happening. That would be pretty dope. But yeah, making MT, guys, I wish there was an auction house still. I really do. I wish they put it in the game to make it so people could actually make MT without having to grind their life away for cards that really ain't even all it. But I'm just working with what I got, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy as always. And uh, yeah. Peace. I feel like that outro was extended way too long. Let me know down below in the comments. Was that? Now I'm hiccuping. All right.